welcome back to our channel. My name is Tiffany, and if you're new here, welcome. And if you're already part of our family, welcome back. We enjoy having you guys here. Um, I hope you guys are hungry tonight because tonight we are going to do a stir fry. I know I've done a stir fry before on my thing, but tonight we're going to use the orange blossom honey that I did or I got from the food bank and the broccoli and the carrots. So I, it's going to be a food pantry uh, or food bank uh, stir fry tonight, except for the chicken is the only thing that didn't come from the food pantry because even the rice did. So why don't you sit down, grab a plate, and let's get to it. Okay, so as you can see, I've got the broccoli and the carrots already ready to go. I've already chopped off the stem of the broccoli and everything. I peeled the carrots and chopped off the ends of those. So now it's time to chop them up and get them ready to go for in the into the stir fry. So let's get to it. Okay, so as you can see, I cut up the carrots and the broccoli, so they're all ready to go. I'm going to put them off to the side, and I will take these little pieces of the stem that I still have. And I just recently learned this from a couple of other people here I know on YouTube. Just toss all of your scraps like this into a freezer bag for later use to make stews or soups or stuff like that. So that's what I'm going to do with that. So it's just going to go off to the side for right now. So I'm just going to take it off to the side, and we'll put it in a bag here in a little bit. So now... We're going to chop our chicken. So I am going to get that started. And uh, we'll see you back when I'm ready to start cooking it because, yeah. Okay, and now it's time to make the sauce for the chicken stir fry. So I've got my chicken soup base, as you can see. My daughter likes Mr. Noodles, but doesn't always like the sauce packet. So I've got a couple of these kicking around. doesn't want to open all the way. There we go. Alright, so there's that. And then we've got our handy dandy garlic. Now, I don't really have measurements. I stated this in a previous video or I'm sure another video, but I don't really, I kind of go by eye. So why am I going for the soy sauce? It's not ready for that yet. So, here's the paprika. And then, whoops, there's a little bit of chili. I don't like it too spicy, so just a splash of chili. There we go. And then the curry, because you have to have your curry. A little kick to it. And my soy sauce, which I grabbed earlier. I didn't realize I didn't need right away. Add some soy sauce. Like that. And then, like I said earlier, we are going to try this orange blossom honey. So let's see how it smells when I open it up. Oh, it has a little thingy. I gotta open it. See, I'm, I've never opened it before. This is our first time using it. So I'm gonna pull the little thingy off. All right. So let's see. Can't really sweet, smell anything, but let's kind of. There we go. So let's try and taste some. Okay. Ooh. That is nice. So we'll just add some into our sauce. Like so. That should be enough. Alright. So take our handy dandy spoon and spin it around. Let's see how it tastes. Taste test. I think we're going to put a little bit more of that in there. There we go. Let's see if we can taste it now. So now that the sauce is done, we gotta go get the chicken going. So I'll see you over there in a second. Okay, so as you can see, 
I have my frying pan all ready to go. I have my chicken right here. And then I have my olive oil as per always. So now I'm going to, hi, hi put some olive oil in the frying pan, or the wok, I guess, is technically what it is, like so, and put that off to the side. And we'll just kind of wait for it to get heated up a little bit. Okay, so now that the oil is somewhat hot, we're gonna get the chicken in there, like that. Put that off to the side. And just kind of stir it around. Get it coated in the oil. Like I said, if you've watched my previous where I did just chicken stir fry and it was that's all it was with chicken, I did it for a freezer meal collab that uh, I was in with uh, CNC Farms. But uh, yeah, so you'll you'll recognize me doing this. So we will. Uh, Get it cooked and we'll be back with you shortly. Okay, so there you go. As you can see, we're nice and we're cooked. We're not pink anymore. We've cooked thoroughly. We've got a little bit of a gravy going on. So I'm going to transfer the chicken out of the skill out of the wok and I will be back with the vegetables in just a moment. Okay, so now it's time to do the vegetables. So here comes a little bit of oil to do for the stir fry. Like that. Let it warm up a little bit. And uh, there's my carrots and my broccoli that I will be stir frying. So, ah. look at that. See, instantaneous. What happens when your block is already hot. You just gotta let it do its thing and stir in the fry and cook. We're gonna use the lid here to help steam it, and we'll be back when it's time to add the chicken. Okay, so it's been about five minutes, and I've stirred it a couple of times, so now it's time to take the lid off. There we are. And you see, the carrots and the broccoli are getting nice and cooked, so we're going to add the chicken back. So there's our chicken that we did earlier. All of it's coming out, back in the pan. Nice and sizzly, as you can hear. Just kind of stir it all together. Like so. Nice and stir it in, like so. Alright. So now we have to add the sauce, which is going to be fine. So there is the sauce that we made earlier with the uh, honey, from the, the orange blossom honey. So now we're just going to kind of pour it in over the chicken and the veggies. Get all of that yummy goodness out of there. And now we just have to wait for it to come to a boil. And once it does, we can thicken it. it up we can get it to thicken and we can or get it to boil and we can thicken it all right so as you can see it's starting to boil so I've got my handy dandy flour right here give it a couple more seconds and then sprinkle it in mix it in quickly as quickly as you can so that it doesn't clump and if it does smush them out All right, get them smushed around and stirred in with the rest of the liquid that's not quite fully thickened. Like that. It's still a little thin, so add a little bit more. I feel like, what was, what was that, Emma Degassi, he used to have that show where you bam all the time? That's what I feel like I'm doing with this stuff to try and get it in there as quickly as I can before it burns and or thickens too fast. Or... Not enough. Alright, so we're going to let that thicken and we'll show you what it looks like once, once we have it on the plate. And there you have it everyone. A simple stir fry with uh, orange blossom honey sauce 
with uh, may all made from ingredients aside from the chicken from the food bank. So the rice came from the food bank, the broccoli, the carrots, and most of what went into the sauce did as well. So there you have it. Now it's time to go try it out and see if it's as yummy as it smells. Okay everyone, so now I'm sitting down here. I got my stir fry here that I just made with the orange blossom honey. And it's time for me to dig in and try it out. So are you guys ready? Let's grab some on the, fo the fork here. Hang on a second. Get some on. There we are. Nice little bit on the fork. Ready? Cheers! Mmm! That is really good. It's got a little bit of an orange taste to it. A little orange flavor to it. Or like a citrusy flavor. Mmm, that is really good. Thanks, everybody. Everybody told me I was going to love this, honey. It's amazing. Mmm. All right. So I'm going to get back to my dinner here. It's really scrumptious. So if you haven't already, come join our family by hitting that subscribe button. You're going to miss it. You won't want to miss out on any more of the chaos. So hit that bell, too. And I hope everybody has a great night and a great rest of your week or weekend. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye, everybody. So sit down, grab a plate, and let's get to it. Or get popcorn. Okay, so there you have it. I caught up the chicken, or not the chicken. <laughs> Oops. Look for a moment.